Welcome back to One Piece Anime Review, episode number 309. Here we're just viewing the newest episode of the series, which is episode... Actually, it updated. It is Ridiculous pa the Ridiculous Power, Gear 5 in Full Play. Yep, this episode adapts from the entirety, and I do mean the entirety of chapter 1045. Yeah, it doesn't skip anything. 3 through 19. The first two pages is basically a two-page cover spread and like a blank page. And then we also had the first two pages of well, pages 2 and 3 of chapter 1046. You're thinking, really? 1046? Yeah. 1046. Like, that's interesting. Yes, because it is. It is uh, quite interesting. In fact, they actually covered that much. Yeah. So... I forgot to mention this for last week's episode. The fact that, well, here's kind of the thing when it comes to One Piece. That for uh, last week uh, was the first time in apparently 17 years that there was an ending credit sequence. You think, really? First time in 17 years? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, they even played it for this episode, too, which is interesting. Yes. Now you might be thinking, why the heck they decided to do this for? Uh, not sure why, though it does make the, epi though it does make the episode a tad bit longer. Though, the, the way this one is structured is that we have, we have the open tangle sequence, which takes about a couple minutes. And then we have two minutes of very brief recap. Uh, stuff we kind of saw last week. Like, okay, so you took away the recap uh, from the last couple episodes and you bring it back. Yeah, I would love to know the reason why that they just took it and then just stopped doing it. And then all of a sudden, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to put it back in and have the ending credits there too. I'm like, why? It makes no freaking sense. The fact that they would do this for it's... A very baffling decision that Toei decided to do. Yeah, I would love to basically know the answer to this question, but honestly, it's just kind of weird. It is nice the fact they have an anti thing once again. As a matter of fact, if you think about it, they're the only anime I watch where they have no uh, ending tile sequence. Really? Yes, really. It is, it's, well, by far the other one. Now, with this particular episode, Grand Thing, okay, we got the 43. So, question How many more chapters left to adapt for this whole, whole, this whole arc? The answer 14. Really? Yep, 14. So, my guess is, well, they finally started going back to the whole thing up in two pages, so my guess is probably next week. Uh, they're probably going to finish up this whole chapter. Do I think they might have that for next chapter? Who knows? It just depends upon Toei. And, of course, the script writers. Mostly put the whole episode as Luke versus Kaido. And it's quite interesting, though, the anime does this, where, like, the whole episode focuses on this after, basically, this fight has been virtually been ignored, so it doesn't focus on all other fights throughout this whole entire thing. Give, give this one a break. Yeah, so, they fight for quite a while. At one point, you have Kaido eating, it's like, swallowing him, and have Momo and Yamato, when they come, come to the top, to figure out what's going on, and... And everyone's wondering like what the heck is going on and then like he eats him it gets bigger goes all over the place at one point sticks his head under under, under the, the dome and we see the shock faces of Kid Law Nami Tama and Chopper doing the whole eye popping thing <laughs> I thought that was so funny like what why does he look like of course they actually added the in here of Nami saying why is she why does she, he look like that we also see Kid and Law with basically brushing off some guys. There's also the whole thing with the fire, which that's going to play a big role in next week's episode. I do mean a big role. 
Owen oh, Case Orochi, he's he's confirmed dead a couple uh, not long after this. So they fight for quite a while. We have the whole he- Luffy's head get wrapped around uh, Kaido's spike club. It goes all over the place. Eventually, Luffy just collapses like he's exhausted. He turns back normal, and then he gets up, and then basically, apparently, he's got energy now to go back to Gear 5, and continues to fight with Kaido. And that's the episode. Yeah. Uh, really good. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah, and I love the fact I agree with the reactions to every, like, seeing all this crazy stuff that Luffy does. We see Luffy also going to the sky. Him also seeing, like, he's bouncing over the place. We even see the fact that he's actually using uh, Kaido as a freaking jump rope. He grabs his t- the head of, the end of his tail and his head. And he just, gum gum, jump rope. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. Yes, that was so hilarious. The guy was like, are you taking this fight seriously now? <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. But great episode, love it. Okay, so that's the episode of you. Next up, we're gonna have uh, two straight comic corners featuring stuff related to Jack the King Kirby. You'll find what they are soon. Okay, next video. Bye.